Hi guys, my name is Kid, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a combination locking door. Now, as you see, this right here is what I call redstone Armageddon. But this actually is not there, not complex at all. So, basically what I have down here, I'm going to quickly show you in here. Doop -doop, no one saw that. I got 16 levers and 15 AND gates. And real quick, just so we're all clear, this is what an AND gate looks like. Because obviously there's 15 of them. This is pretty important. Then we have um, two inputs. When both inputs activate, then the output activates. Simple. So I'm going to teach you how to make this. However, I'm not going to walk you through every step of the 16 lever one because that would take like 20 minutes for me to just build the dang thing. So I'm going to build a smaller 8 block one and you can adapt that to larger builds such as this. Now over here I have a quick 4 block one and this is nothing special. Just when all these levers are down, do do do, the pistons retract. Retract, I'm sorry. Now let's start creating this and we'll talk to you guys as I do it. First off, we need a place for the levers to go. I tend to, or I like to rather, I, re I like to put them one block indented into the wall. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Like so. Do, do, do. So they're not in my face while I'm walking down the narrow corridor. Now I'm going to start setting up the places where the where all the redstone circuitry is going to go. Okay, so this is a good starting point, and we can expand this as needed. Now what I like to do is I like to put wool on top of the blocks just to see how they're going to be grouped. We don't need dispensers, and we don't need pressure plates, so let's take those off our action bar. Now, when we're making the AND gates, these two will be paired, these two will be paired, these two, and these two. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. And then afterwards, these will be paired, and these will be paired. Now, we're going to work with these middle four first, just to make sure we have plenty of room. How we're going to accomplish that is, first off, we need to send the signal when you hit the lever, sends it through the block to this repeater, or you can simply have resin wiring, either one works. But you gotta remember that if you use resin wiring over repeaters, you can get your wires tangled, and you never want any of the wires to intersect each other, you, you can basically ruin it that way. So let's look at this real quickly, or really quick. How am I planning to do this? I think I'm gonna extend this out three just to be safe, just so I don't have to redo it or anything and start setting up the AND gates. Redstone torches like this. Make sure you have the redstone across the top. And then the output output torch. And now you gotta make sure that when you're doing the redstone it's flowing into the block as opposed to out of it. Okay. Now I'm starting to think about how that's going to work with that lever being right there. Not very well. So what I'm going to do, okay, so let me time lapse a little bit. Okay, so this is the reason why my bigger one over there looks like a giant triangle of repeaters. Because for it to work properly, the farther out you go, generally the better. Now that should be very safe. I'm not going to spend all my time trying to compact this as much as possible, simply because I just want to get the basics down for you guys and let you work on it yourselves. You know what? I forgot to show you how this thing actually works. Give me a second. So how this, how this works is each lever has either up direction or down direction unless every single lever is in the correct position the piston door will not open as you see I this lever is supposed to be up I bring it down the piston door closes 
and this is a very simple pattern of down, up, down, up, and it can be any pattern you want, and I will show you in a moment how to change that. The wrong one. <laughs> so we have our two NAND gates starting, or two AND gates, I'm sorry, NAND is a different gate. And now we have it so, if we push down these four middle levers, the two outputs will turn on. Now these AND gates will connect to other AND gates. And these outputs will become inputs. And I will show you what I mean in a moment. Now let's get the other two AND gates set up. I'm going to simply put repeater here, repeater here. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Yes. Okay, time lapse time. Okay, so I extended it just a little bit to be safe. Now, let's look at this. Okay, so. What I think I want to do is I'm actually going to move this out one further. So, one more repeater. After it, I'm going to show you how you can actually greatly reduce the number of repeaters you use. So we're going to set up these AND gates again really quickly. Because these are actually very easy to build. Done. Or no, I'm not done. Done. And now we're going to build other AND gates. Which will look something like this. Oh, I missed twice. Uh, oh well. And set up the redstone. Now, as long as the redstone is on on the opposite side of this lever, it act, the lever will actually power it, as you see. Just make sure that the redstone is running into the block with the redstone torch on it. Now we're going to go over here and duplicate the exact same thing. And simple as that. Now, what we what we excuse me, what we started with was eight out or eight inputs, these eight levers, and ended up with four outputs, these torches. Now, these torches are going to act as inputs for the other AND gates. So we go from eight inputs, four outputs, to four inputs, two outputs. And this is going to keep going until we end up with simply one output. So, I'm going to expand this a little bit more. Okay, so let's see how compact we can actually get this. Do do do. So far, this is looking pretty good. Go off to the side of this, lead right into the block. Torch, torch, redstone, torch. Wow, it's actually looking really good. So as you see, this torch right here and this torch right here are the two inputs for this AND gate, and this is their output. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. No, that's not my redstone. Torch, torch, redstone, torch. Bring this around, and there we go. Now, we ended, we start with four inputs and with two outputs. Now, we only have one more AND gate to go. And I'm actually going to, considering that the piston is going to loop back to this hallway, I'm going to build the AND gate right here. So that's going to be closer to the piston rather than just keep building it farther away. However, you can do this any way you want. I just want to step this last AND gate. Remember, redstone can only travel 15 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's about 12. And now, now all that's left to do is make the piston. I can actually get rid of these wool blocks because I don't like them anymore. Get away from me. Urgh. And 
redstone, redstone, res. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. And um, we are simply going to make a two tall piston wall. Actually, I have pistons dragged down. What I like to do is um, think about where it's going to be first. I want it about here. I make it three tall because I'm once each I make a three tall piston wall. I don't know how to go any higher than three yet. I have not messed with it, but you'll see what I mean in a second. So we got three pistons, and those will retract and um, grab the block. But first things first, we have to invert them. You know, it'll be a lot easier for me if I move this over one. There we go. So how we invert these is pretty simple. Let me see if I can get this for a shot. Put a redstone torch here. And a redstone wiring there. Mm -hmm. I bring this up one. And now this made a not gate. And that's basically an inverter. So how we have it set up now, when all four of these inputs are switched on, Piston subtract. How that works is, as you see, since those are all powered, the inputs. So basically, when all the inputs are powered, these four inputs get powered, these two inputs get powered, and then the last input gets powered. And because of the inverter, that turns off the piston. No, it's sunset. Oh, I was hoping not to have to put down torches to get down the rest of this, but we'll see how we do. Now, the the way that you switch between whether the lever has to be up or down is either you have a repeater or you have a torch. Let's just put them in a random order. There. Now I have some random torches here. And where there's a torch, the lever has to be up. Where there's a repeater, the lever has to be down. So now we have a pattern of down, up, up, down, up, down, down. And anything besides this pattern, the, the door will not work. So I have one last trick before I let you guys go on your own, and I have a feeling that someone is going to attempt a 100 switch lockable, like 100 switch password lockable door, and I'm going to applaud them because that's going to take like four hours. So the way that I save or like repeaters is in a checker pattern, I take out the repeaters and put redstone. This way, the redstone does not interrupt each other and you can actually get rid of some of the repeaters. See if I will place it here it would interrupt with the redstone so I can't replace it there so I actually have to skip that block. So just think before you place them and place them in a checkered pattern like so. Actually has game power about the torches can't do that. Or I can place it here and here and um that's the last place I can place it I think. So I took out two, three, four, five. I took out five repeaters, six. So that's a pretty handy trick on saving your resources. Well, that's all there is to making a lever password combination door. This will work with an iron door too, but I prefer piston doors because piston doors look really nice with this. And um, so just as another quick overview, I'm going to show you the layout of my 16 lever design if you want to try to copy this for your world now um if you'd like to see more minecraft redstone videos you should subscribe to this channel because my partner van and i love redstone and we're going to be doing a lot more videos a lot like this one we're going to be explaining each of the individual logic gates and do some pretty cool things in the future so make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and all those other buttons I like when you press buttons, especially the self-destruct button. So, my name has been Kid. I hope you've learned something today from this Resident tutorial, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.